Hey guys, with the addition of the new selection pack and a couple of new secret packs during the last month, I noticed some changes with how Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel works in general and decided to make a discussion video about it. Usually this is not a type of content that I make, so feel free to let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Now to answer the question, has Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel gotten more expensive? The short answer is yes, in my opinion, but I wanna dive into it a little more and analyze how and why that happened. Let's begin with the essentials. Now to start off, we have to discuss how you can actually spend your money in master do and what you can buy with your gems now there are three things you can buy with your gems number one is selection packs which are just the usual combination of different decks coming together here the other one is secret packs and the third one is cosmetics right here we've got dual fields protectors icons and more when we talk about the cosmetics there really isn't a whole lot you can spend your money on obviously it's not as expensive it's only like 600 to buy a map and maybe like an icon for 50 100 maybe icon for frame or something like that and it doesn't add up to more than a thousand gems or something like that if you decide to buy some of these it's not necessary as well so i wouldn't count it as something that you would spend a whole lot of money on but before we dive into the secret packs and selection packs i want to actually discuss the gem deals here because to understand how much you need to spend for this game you have to know what the pricings are obviously now for those of you who haven't spent any money on the game there are two types of deals which you can buy three times each and these are quote unquote the bundles that have the most value in them but once you're done with that you get to the actual pricing here and as you can see it is quite expensive now the best deal here is the 4950 gems for 79.99 euro which is extremely expensive if you ask me especially considering the fact that for 3000 gems i have actually pulled almost nothing from my selection pack opening video which you can watch in the channel and honestly for 5k gems i don't think you can get that much unless you have an extremely good luck so these bundles do remain better than all other options as you can see but once you're done with those you will have to spend more money on these so keep that in mind now that you know what the value of gems are let's discuss the secret packs and selection packs because that's actually the more interesting part here let's jump into the secret packs now when we take a look at the secret packs that recently came out and include some of the older selection pack exclusive decks it is as bright as the sun that they started adding more than one archetype as you can see here you have scareclaw and x sabers which just makes everything way more expensive because it is firstly not necessary to do that since in the beginning of the game there wasn't such thing happening if there is an archetype that has like four urs already which these have plus the visa star frost it's five you don't need to add the x sabers but they just decided to do that so that it's more expensive and more difficult for you to pull the scare clause. and if we compare some of the new packs with some of the other ones like the space time transcendence you can see that urs are quite less there are only four urs here compared to the scare clause that had let's see how much they had one two three four five six seven eight eight urs dude this is twice as much which means this one is twice as expensive and this isn't even the only example here we've got also the the new baronelia floor pack that has five urs which is way better actually than i thought it's not as bad but then again these are just a weird combination between inferno knights and baronelia floor but it's fine that's not the main topic of the video but this one is one of the better ones actually now that i think about it but when you look at something like the adventure one you have you have six urs there's also the labyrinth pack which has seven urs now i already do have most of the selection pack older decks but this is one of the decks that i didn't have and i actually opened it from the secret packs and as you can see this was 5,000 gems worth of pulls with the exception of me disenchanting one copy of gotham's emergency code this was all i got so that's four urs out of 5,000 gems and i don't know about the rates here but i feel like it's gotten way more expensive and this is not my only example of an expensive pack now let's take a look at the labyrinth pack by the way i just crafted one copy of ariana just to showcase the pack and i also had one free pull and i ended up pulling two copies of dark spirit mystery off of one pool which was insane that just countered my whole logic here but okay let's continue with the video so here you would honestly want to get just one copy lovely labyrinth two copies lady labyrinth and three copies of the big welcome and link welcome labyrinth but since you need three copies of these and two and one this ends up being nine new arts and you need to do quite a bit of pulls and you might pull a whole bunch of curse necro fear with the dark sanctuary and stuff like that which just makes everything way more expensive than it needs to be also i've actually had opened this pack for from a fresh account because i wanted to start a new account and decided to go with this one and i ended up spending 14k gems to pull not even everything from the labyrinth 14k you know how much money that is if you decide to spend it and i actually even stopped playing on the account because all of the free gems were gone and i didn't pull even a single deck but yes the game definitely made it harder for you to pull on the new secret packs and build those older selection pack decks and we haven't even gotten to the bigger picture here as you guys 
know the secret packs aren't the best way to actually pull new cards and it's time to discuss the selection packs in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel and here things are pretty simple really there is a new update new cards are added by adding selection packs that are oftentimes better than most of the secret pack decks or provide more archetypes that people are interested in and you end up buying them because you want to experience the new stuff in the game and a really annoying thing is that some of the URs here aren't even necessary there are usually between one to two maybe even more URs that are considered quote-unquote support cards or some sort of tech cards but realistically they are just useless cards that you don't really need filling up the gap so you spend more money on the packs which is not cool and that leads me to the biggest problem that I have with the new selection packs when you take a look at poorly and Mikankos for example to build poorly you need eight URs you need two copies of Neuer three copies of this one and three copies of that one and you also will probably use like one to two copies of happiness just because and it ends up being between eight to ten URs for poorlies and then for Mikankos you need three two more three more and then two to three more of diviner of the hero for a total of between eight to eleven urs and this is extremely pricey considering a temple gives you around two urs so you do the math on that and what i hate about both of these is that they have their solid three ofs in the main deck as urs for pearly we've got my friend pearly and also the pearly sleeping memory and for the mikankos we've got the mikankos fire dance the mikankos water arabes q and also the mikankos ritual monster now for the ritual monster i'm fine but some of the other ones can definitely be srs instead of putting some weird stuff that no one cares about like for example some of these galaxy ice cards that no one really cares about there are cards that you would never use in these decks like the ritual sanctuary cyber angel ben 10 like what are these cards doing here also the forum stream of destruction which is one of the worst galaxy ice srs you would ever need and for example some of the photon cards aren't even usable at more than one copy of like the photon dragon and the numbers last hope i think so there are definitely srs that they can cut from the selection pack and add some of the urs as srs and make them a little more cheaper but they don't want to do that obviously and as you can see from my opening i've actually spent 3000 gems and put only two urs both of which are galaxy ice urs and that was pretty annoying considering the fact that 3000 gems is not a low amount of money not to mention that i ended up pulling like trizillion copies of photon cards most of which aren't even that usable in the deck the majority of good srs are not actually from the selection pack but from the secret pack which they could have added but they decided not to so you want to end up opening the secret pack as well to build the galaxy ice if you don't have them and this deck actually has a secret pack which contains five different urs from which you need one copy of each and two copies of the link monster there is also the galaxy soldier which you need three copies of the photon orbital which you need a bunch of copies of and these cards aren't even in the selection pack which just proves my point that it's gonna be way more expensive for you to build any of those decks and instead of adding those they decided to add something like the orphe bull the harmonious bull whatever bard and also the saga of the dragon emperor for no reason at all no one will play these cards anyways and you can't tell me that this isn't made just to make more money off of it and it's not even the only example let's take a look at the other selection pack that came out recently here we've got a whole bunch of useless cards that no one would give a shit about and there are cards like the breaking ruin god which is just absolutely bonkers to make a ur card considering the fact that the deck is just made for fun and for a deck that is just played for fun and isn't even that good you need to spend three ur crafts to build this or open the selection pack we've got a similar problem with the kashira pack as you can see here again there are five different archetypes here there is support for some of them there are new cards for some of them and they made the true draco cards both urs which ended up being extremely expensive to build true dracos because you need to pull three copies of this and three copies of that one all of the kashiras are also urs which i mean it's fine it's fair kashiras are one of the best cards in the game but they could have definitely made the true draco cards a little cheaper to get as well and the conclusion from all of this analyzing leads to one simple problem here greed even though i love Yu Gi Oh and enjoy playing master duo a lot this is not okay with me and there were times in which my pulls were that bad that i even considered quitting the game and don't get me wrong there are good sides to the economy like making structure deck for some of the more expensive secret packs and decks which is great but you still need to open the selection packs in order to experience what's new in the game and you can't just wait for the decks to receive secret packs or structure days because it can take months and i want to point out that this wasn't a rant type of video but more like a discussion because i feel like a lot of people notice some of these things and i get quite a bit of comments about that as well regardless the game is cool the game is fun and as a player in it i can't help but hope that the devs are going to make things a little more cheaper and a little more easier for people to get those decks and maybe even go back to the older ways when the game launched or make some other changes to solve the problem anyways that was it for the video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did i would appreciate the like and subscribe also comment down below what you think about the topic and whether you like discussion videos like these and i'll see you next time adios